All right, we're here. Yeah, so good. Gag damn it. Been a while. Gag, gag, gag it has been a while. Yeah. So let me let me start things off right off the bat. Please. You have gone into your Halloween mode. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> September thirtieth, baby. <laughs> September thirtieth, I I transform like something out of Battle of the Planets into Halloween Witch, and I don't come out again until November 2nd, because I'm generally asleep November 1st. Well, what uh, what kind of a Halloween format are you going with? Are you going with the cheese of the cheese, or what's the well, big I, idea here? I, I well, well, there's a couple things. First of all, I need coffee. we got 32 days of Halloween in which we do a few things. We do, in the morning, we'll do like a short, short subject or trailers or something and then we have a, a full feature film at night and then every night I come out with a new bit of new audio recording of something some Halloween-y type of thing and and that's what goes on on the site now as far as the mode that I get into is as what you know do you do I want like straight up horror or do I want like cheesy awful stuff you know, I kind of like a little bit of everything. I want a buffet of, of, of Halloween, you know? So I can go watch a really terrible Roger Corman horror flick. Oh. Or, or I can, yeah, or I can turn around and watch, you know, full up uh, Bela Lugosi Dracula or uh, the original Frankenstein. Or I can turn around and watch, you know, uh, well, there's, there's, again, modern movies you've got your great ones like Shaun of the Dead yes. 28 Days Later okay and and then you've got crap ones you know the kind whether they're sci-fi originals or they're just direct to video things um, starring Eric Roberts I mean it doesn't matter um, if, if, it's, if it's in the spirit of the season I will watch it and I will get something out of it even if it even if it's just howling with laughter at some ridiculous version of like say uh, the, the Telltale Heart or something, which was pretty ridiculous. Oh, man. Oh. I love it all. I love it all. I will take it all. I oh. save I save pretty much all the horror and sci-fi DVDs that I get, no matter of the quality. Oh. And I will, I will watch them. I will pick them out, and I will watch them, and I will jump around from the 1930s to the 80s to the 50s to black and white to color. I don't give a damn. Um... I don't care. I love it all. All right. That is that is just god awful. What yeah. kind of a, a dedication you have to go oh. through such <clears throat> well, ugh. Ah, ah, horrible. Ah. But but you, you got to admit there there is there is fun to be had in watching crap movies. Yeah. I mean, that, and that's what I go for. I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm I'm I uh I'll sit and watch something just to make myself suffer. Oh, I'll laugh at it or drink or both. Uh, and, and and I always save there's certain films that I watch every year uh, that are of great quality that kind of even it out. All right. So if sci-fi made hmm. a another edition of Mega Dragon versus Mega Bear versus Jason. Yeah. And they tossed in Lou Diamond Phillips. Would you watch that? If Lou Diamond Phillips was playing Jason, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible, Witch. I like I like Mega Bear. I think that's awesome. Mega Bear, yes. Mega Bear. There they, should be there should be a movie with Mega Bear. I like Mega Bear. Me Mega Bear honestly sounds like um, this really awful like Japanese video game, in which you're a bear encased in like mecha, some co or some kind of exoskeleton, oh. and one of your paws has been replaced with a with some kind of phaser, mm -hmm. and and you're just running around blowing up stuff and and eating honey, and oh 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 even better you you get basically the, he's versus the zombies right. Oh the, yes, 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 the zomb yes. Zombie bees, right? Yes. Right, zombie bees, which which I had read about in Wired magazine, but had thought about before, uh, for the record. Uh, but he's fighting zombies, and then the humans that have been turned into zombies 
by the zombies. And get this, here's the genius part. Their brains have been turned into honey. So he breaks them open and eats their brains and gets honey. That's a that's a movie right there. That, we, that's, we, that's need, a, we need to go to sci-fi. Video game into a movie. You do yes. the video game first, and then they buy the rights to the video game. Yes. You make a freaking fortune off of it, and they turn it into a movie, and then they turn it into a franchise. Look, I'll say this. Those sci-fi movies, which some are not as bad, but mm-hmm. others are... Wah! Yeah? It, it keeps Lou Diamond Phillips working. That's all I'm saying. Uh, not just Lou Diamond Phillips, but uh, uh, <laughs> Tiffany... And uh, oh, oh Deb- yes, 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 and Deborah, Deborah yes. Gibson. Oh yeah. So, so, but you know, there's certain they are not on my list of people that I give a pass to a film to because they're cutting a film a check. Myself, I mean, I have a list of people where I go, if you cast these people and you're putting money in their pocket, I don't care what you do. If you're mega plankton versus. Uh, <laughs> Mega oh, plankton. <laughs> mega plankton. <laughs> How That's, the hell does a plankton become? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but wouldn't it be fun to find out? That's just the first movie, Mega Plankton, yeah. where it's Mega Plankton solo, and then later it's Mega Plankton versus Mega Bear because Mega Bear has decided to take scuba lessons. Oh yeah. Right. And then goes up against Mega Plankton. <laughs> this is okay. Got, okay which. This Imagine this. Material. Okay, I'm ready. I got, I got, I got. Okay, it. okay. hit me, hit me. This is, this is what we can do. Okay, hit me. We go to sci-fi, and we say, "Look, you guys need a new Halloween movie." Yeah. And we got it. This yeah. one will have a mega bear. This mm. one will have a mega, all kinds of mega things. <laughs> this is what we're gonna call it. What's that? Aliens going on. The Oregon Trail. Ooh. Now, do you mean do you mean like Ridley Scott aliens? Oh, we could have any kind of aliens. Any kind of aliens. Okay, all right. They could be those blue ones from that uh, uh, planet with the cat people. They can be a bunch of ETs. It doesn't matter. The fact is, we got these these different species going through the horror that is Oregon Trail, and we have some mega bears. And we have some mega owls. And mega owls. And we have shun- shooting bears with guns. I like it. Yeah. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. I'm totally there. We go to sci-fi. That's our next movie right there. I think we should pitch it. What are we pitching? It? Oh, oh, we need, we'll need some actors, too. Oh. Like, sci- sci- they basically keep the three actors we've already mentioned. Plus Eric Roberts. <laughs> they live on campus. Are you kidding? <laughs> They don't have a home anymore. They're just there. Do you do you think Lou, Lou could pass for one of those blue aliens from that other movie? I think what you do is you get him, um, you, you you get them all motion capture suits that have been discarded by Weta, mm. and uh, and and just do do like the imagine like okay imagine like motion capture, mm-hmm. with not even not even Zemeckis bad, but like 1980s. Uh, uh, Pixar test film bad, and I think you would you would have a new cult classic on your hands. You would have the next you would have the next troll too. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I like see, everything about this. You see, the brilliant thing about this is okay. it could branch off into a mega bear series, a mega I, owl series. I know. I know. You basically you you yeah. the genius of your idea is that you're introducing all the megas, right? Yes. Um, and then you can just run off and do whatever you want. You could, uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I would like, you know what? I would like, uh, something like mega ferrets mm-hmm. and they could have their own little golden book. So it's like mega ferrets would, they would, you branch them off into kids books, right? Yes. Like kids picture books, you know, where you've got the little, the fuzzy bit that you, Oh, look, pet the mega ferret. Oh, it bit you and get off your finger. Oh shit. Yep. 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 So, so you're like you're like working the puppet that's built into the book, and you can like have the puppet attack your child. That would be great. I think this is great. Yeah. And uh, it's like a multimedia experience. It could branch off into so many different avenues. This is it. This is the big one. A- avenues and and streets and cul-de-sacs. All right, we're gonna copyright this today. Yes, it's done. And, it's it's and, done and, by law. It's already done. We've copyrighted we are, it just we are by going to sci-fi, it. and it's gonna happen. It is.
<laughs> I know it. I'm, I feel good about this. I feel good about everything about this. So, Widge, mm. do you have anything cool that you want to give props to before we get going with our new idea? Our new idea. Well, no, the only thing I would say is uh, folks should check out um, 32 Days on Need Coffee, uh, where we will – sadly, the films we have will not be as cool as Mega Mega, um, but but we're working on it. Uh, and um, – yeah, I think it's about it. That's that's what we're doing on Need Coffee, and that's why I'm not sleeping. All right. And with that, this has been another L Supercast. And uh, if I don't come back before Halloween, get ready. Because you're going to get scared, dang it. I'm scared already. <laughs> All right. That's it. We're out.